En este audio escucharemos las opiniones de los partidarios del candidato a la presidencia de los Estados Unidos, Donald Trump, o Donald Trump Supporters. Les doy un poco más de información. Dentro del partido republicano o de derecha, hay varias personas luchando por ser el candidato oficial de ese partido. El que está arriba en las encuestas, Donald Trump, es uno de los candidatos más controversiales últimamente visto. Ha insultado a quien se ponga en su camino, no se disculpa por nada de lo que dice y ha prometido ser enérgico en el ámbito internacional así como con la inmigración ilegal. Es odiado por muchos, pero aún así hay mucha gente que lo está apoyando. En esta ocasión escucharemos sus razones. Last week, Republican consultant and CBS News contributor Frank Luntz gathered 29 past and present Donald Trump supporters in Virginia to get their thoughts on the Republican frontrunner, including his controversial comments on Muslims. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Raise your hands if you agree with him. 14, 16, 17. They don't want to become Americans. They want to come here and blow up America stuff, right. and kill us. Muslims? Almost no. temporarily. We have no way of knowing who they are. I'm gonna I, like I think we're all scared. I'm actually a little jumpy, I find. And Trump Are is the scared? only one who would come out and say something like this. Yes. No one else would do <laughs> it. So you credit him with that. I do. Mm -hmm. I mean, no one else would <clears throat> say it. Who would say it? So you don't see, even in this room, this explosion of points of view that maybe he went too far in what he said? Well, you know what Trump does? Right. He says something completely crazy and inflammatory and I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. And then he dials back and sort of starts explaining it and yeah. saying Breaks how he would do. But it the conversation. And it makes yeah. Which I sort think of is good. Good. Trump is smart like a fox. He's in campaign mode. He has to be proactive. He's intentionally playing the media. Yeah. He's saying things that are right on the edge. He's exaggerating. Yeah. He's saying things that he knows the mainstream media, media will grab and throw, throw a gasoline on, and it goes really big. We're not believing everything he's saying. Right, right, right. Nobody, like no. no, no, we're taking it for exactly what he just explained. He goes out and he makes a huge fuss to get everyone's attention, to get his issues addressed. Is it his persona, his tenacity, his raising of issues you care about. He is entertaining. Um, he's giving everyone something to talk about. He looks presidential and he acts presidential. You think he acts presidential. So when he said, and I quote, I would bomb the shit out of ISIS. <laughs> yes. Yes. And this is, this is when he, he used the word shit. Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. That's yes. presidential? Yes. yes. Americans think the country is in crisis. Trump is telling them the country is in crisis, and people flock to a strong leader when they think the country is in crisis. Not Trump people, you. <laughs> Don't talk about people. You flock to Trump. Yeah, I'm attracted to his persona. Because? <laughs> Because of what's happening in the world. International affairs. He stands up there, he gives the image, he's not going to put up with any crap. We've seen a lot of bad things that Trump has done. We've seen a lot of bad things that he's said. However, we've got a lot more problems in this country that I feel that he is more qualified to handle. Socially, we are tired of political correctness. I think we're being burdened with it. I think it's making us weaker as a country uh, globally. And I think that he represents that voice of that, that frustration, that political correct frustration. Yeah, he makes mistakes. He's human. He says some things that are off color that I'm embarrassed by occasionally. But I still think a, he's a leader And those prove that he's a leader. I just think we need a complete shakeup. I think he's the only one that can do it. Here's a $64,000 question. With Marco Rubio as the Republican nominee and Trump running as an independent, who here votes for Trump? Raise your hands. Right now, the establishment Republicans just died. Uh, yeah. They should. Yeah. They haven't been That's more than half of you just raise your hands that you're going to leave the Republican Party. And I want a word or phrase to describe Barack Obama. Pathetic. <laughs> Great speaker. Jellyfish marshmallow. Annoying. Delusional. Naive. Uh, unbelievable. I just can't believe him. Lost. 
Good talker and tries hard. Out of touch. A politician. Full of himself. Clueless. Ineffective. Elitist. Doesn't respect American values. Overwhelmingly cocky. Anti-American. Un-American. Amateur. Zero leadership. Out of his depth. Arrogant. Still waiting on this hope and change. Anti-American. Un-American. Barack Obama. Seriously? Yes. <laughs>